Hello babes, welcome back to a new video and if you haven't subscribed and make sure you guys click the subscribe button Also the bell so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos and follow me on IG It is at Steph Macedo. I figured I would vlog for you guys over the weekend because I am doing a few things and there's also some New things I want to show you guys that I got. I'm currently wearing a lounge set that I bought yesterday. I drove kind of far to go to a mall that was open. I, on the way there, didn't really realize, like, I completely forgot it was, like, staying, like, very busy. And I was like, do I turn around? But I was kind of on the way there already. There were a lot of people and there were, like, lines and stuff. But I feel like the lines made it look like there was a lot more. But the only reason why I went there is because I wanted to go to the Nespresso store and kind of like ask questions and talk about the different um, coffees that they had because I got my first Nespresso machine which I'm so excited to show you guys. I've been wanting to get one for like a really long time now. Sorry for the fan in the background. I'm currently like cooking something that I want to sit for dinner. I got this set yesterday at Aerie. It's so comfortable because I feel like we're at home so much now and you just want to be in like super comfy clothes. I also got something from Amazon which I am like obsessed with. I'm actually waiting for another color to come in. It's like a workout set and it's so nice you guys. But I did make my iced coffee with my Nespresso. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit later with you guys but first I'm going to have my brunch actually it's not even breakfast. I'm making this recipe right over here. I'll put a picture. It's kind of it's called a tomato soup that has like big pasta in it. It's kind of like a curly pasta. Well, I got the one that was a little bit curled, but they used like the macaroni one, the jumbo one. But I couldn't find that one in store. Honestly, feel like any pasta dish, the more the sauce sits, especially if it's a dish where the pasta goes inside of the sauce, the more it sits, the more just like delicious it is. Like I've definitely learned that from the past. And I want to let it sit so that when it comes to dinner time, it's still hot inside the pot. But it's kind of been sitting there it's been marinating you know what i'm saying yeah um i figured i'd show you guys the recipe because it's so easy I already chopped up everything that we need so inside of here i have a green pepper and i have a one tomato chopped I'm using this classico dressing um not dressing a uh, tomato sauce which is roasted and garlic and onion i love this brand because again they are one of the lower calorie on the lower calorie side compared to the other ones i saw on the shelf yesterday i love like love seeing when the sun hits on like my bedding it just is so pretty i just love looking at it i don't know what it is there's something like so comforting about it and i feel like ever since being at home even more I feel like now we have the time to like appreciate the tiniest little things so this is the pasta that i'm using it's a little bit more curled than the one in the actual image they use like these big jumbo macaroni the only thing i do to my pasta water is i put some salt in it i feel like that prevents from the pasta sticking to the pot it's been working ever since i've been doing that the non-stick pots which actually my set that i currently cook with is on my amazon favorites you guys can shop it down below in home i always get so many questions about my pot set and what i use i just have my onion inside of here with some olive oil inside of here as well and the next thing i did get extra lean ground beef i do get like to get extra lean because obviously um from a calorie standpoint and i love using this utensil because you can kind of stab at the meat and basically just kind of break it up a little bit i don't have beef broth we're actually going to be using a chicken broth that i bought it's completely fine if you guys want to use that organic and it's 25 percent less sodium the other thing i love about it is that it is super low calorie it's just going to add extra flavor ideally you do want to use the beef oregano inside of here again this is going to be more of like a soup but you can also make this as like a pasta dish the only thing you have to do is put less liquid i'm gonna make it kind of in between because when i saw it it kind of looks more like a chili to me and chili is kind of like a soup chili powder but let me open up the other side because that's way too small black pepper i'm adding turmeric in here we're going to also be adding a paprika just for an, uh, like an added kick of red color to me paprika doesn't really add like much flavor we're going to be adding a little bit of salt because you just kind of want to get that started in there and you will need more salt in the end because this is going to be a larger pot peppers do take a long time to cook so you do want to be adding that inside of here i can't believe i forgot like how can the garlic queen forget garlic i said to myself i only have a little bit of garlic left so let me use the rest of it in this dish 
Okay, whatever. I'm going to be washing this, so I'm going to be using this to get it out. As y'all already know, I like my food with lots of garlic in here, so... So we're gonna top this off for about five minutes and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I wanna show you guys, I got a new baby. I've been wanting one for a long time and I just didn't know which kind of coffee machine to go with. Funny enough, I went to Walmart and I saw this one on sale and I was like, eh, it's probably not that great of a sale and I just left it or whatever. And then for some reason I was searching online and I came across the deal and I was like, wait a second, that is 50% off of the machine because typically it's $1.99 and I got it for $99. Oh my God, and it said like almost sold out and I'm like, oh my God, if I go to Walmart, it's probably not going to be there. There was two left on the shelf, two of them. So when I left, there was just one sitting there. And then by the time I went online to check again because someone was asking me, it was like not showing online anymore, so somebody must have grabbed it. I did go with the white one because it matches my cabinets. It's like a very soft kind of like stone white. It's not stark white. And I did some shopping at the Nespresso store. As you guys can see, I got a whole bunch of Nespresso capsules, which I'm so excited. I tried so far the vanilla custard. And I tried like two of the samples because the machine comes with a whole set of, I believe, 12 samples that you can try. I'm trying to get used to all these Italian coffee names. I asked you guys for suggestions on my IG story on which ones I should get. And a lot of people said the vanilla custard, but I did not like it. I feel like it's for someone who likes flavored coffee. Honestly, my current obsession is with espresso right now, not really coffee. So I really didn't like it. I found like it had a really bad aftertaste. I'm probably, I don't know, I'm gonna do something with it, I guess. I don't think I was given it inside of my sample thing. So the only way I could actually try it is this way. I got some of the other ones that you guys suggested. This is Bianco Forte. This one is Bianco Leggero, I guess you say. I don't speak Italian, y'all, so I don't know. Um, And this is Decaffeinato on on two so on on two also i don't know i got three of those because i actually tried this from my sample and i made um like a cold foam drink it was so good i'm gonna show you guys in like another video a double espresso scuro oh, this is the stormio and then i got the intenso so the one i had this morning is like super strong i believe it is yeah, do you see that right there? It's like all the way, but I really, really, really loved that one. And the reason why I kind of went ham on these is because if you buy 10 packs, you get two for free. And plus I got $25 off because I got the machine. So as long as you have your receipt and you have the serial number, you're able to enter it online and get $25 back on coffee. I think that ends December 5th, so get on that if you guys want this machine. I will also leave the link to it down below for you guys, different places that are selling it. This is the Virtuo Next machine. I always wanna call it Vuturo. I'm really liking it, honestly. It's very easy to use. The water tank is at the back over there I wanted something really nice and slim and like do you guys see this aesthetic i really did not want the ones with the stuff on the side that was kind of like bothering me about the other machines it heats up super quickly if i turn on this button it will heat up in like three seconds i feel like it's a whole new experience when it comes to my coffee drinking and everything like and it feels hella bougie i'm not gonna lie and they have them all lined up in the back of the wall and i'm just like uh, she's like, okay, so what were you looking for? I'm like, that's the thing. I don't know and these guys they fit inside my drawer organizers that I'm gonna be doing in my island So all of my coffee is gonna fit in there I'm gonna organize everything definitely would recommend this machine if you don't have a lot of counter space And if you just want something quick that gives you that single cup kind of espresso or coffee And if you want a good variety of coffees, they honestly have different notes to kind of fit everybody's taste buds and I really want to learn about coffee and espresso notes because I feel like it's only going to help me find out the ones that I love the most. Okay, going back to this, we're going to lower this down to medium at this point. And we're going to add in our Classico. Okay, don't splatter on my... And I'm wearing cream and it's probably on my shirt now. You could totally, totally do this in a slow cooker or a crock pot. I feel like it's one of those recipes where you can do in basically anything. But yeah, we're going to let this sit. <laughs> Watch yourself. Audacio. Just for all the Italians out there, I am not Italian. I know you're probably like, sis tried, she tried, it's okay. I got three of the decaffeinato um, on, tu, um, on tuoso, on tuoso. 
I got this because if I want my drink at night, I'm not gonna get like um, so I got this one. This is really good if you love that espresso flavor in my opinion But it's like decaf and you're kind of like me and you want to just drink coffee all day long That one's for you <laughs> That's for us crazy people. No um, Some of us are just coffee lovers, you know, so this one is the vanilla custard pie one which for me is a flop So I have like nine capsules left by the way speaking of capsules one of you guys shared with me that Apparently you can use the capsule twice. I tried it this morning. I tried it with the Audacio. I tried it with that one. Oops it Just the foam was different and it is a little bit watered down a little bit Ooh, Give me a second here I just have it on really super low right now because I do still want this to kind of like steam in here You guys look how good this looks at this point, I like to do a little taste test of the sauce to see how the salt is. Like a chili kind of consistency. Oh wow, that tastes good. Mm. Oh my god, that oregano with the pepper, they pair so nicely that they almost combine together when you taste it. But if you guys want to try out this recipe and you cook it, make sure you guys tag me at Steph G. Macedo. I love when you guys cook my recipes, I just love seeing it. And now I have something meal prep for the beginning of my week for next week and I also have something for dinner I have not been drinking hot coffee lately you guys like I am all about the iced 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 everything all day all day iced like I don't know I tried to make a hot cup of coffee lately and I'm just like I've literally dumped out a few like I just don't enjoy it and I wanted to show you guys this container over here basically is like a salad dressing container or you can use it for anything if you are like me and you like your ice drinks I make my espresso and I put it inside this container and then you put it inside your fridge and you have cold espresso open the lid whenever you want to make your ice drink your ice latte and you just pour it in so this is really good any container you don't have to get this one I just like how it is um, I did link this one on my Amazon favorites under home so you guys can pick it up. I really love it. If you definitely love on the go and you like things that are super quick, this is really great. I feel like when they're higher up on the scale, they will give you a little bit more of that strong bitterness in it. I like when I order a Starbucks drink, a latte, a nice latte I'm talking about, and I sip on it and it's sweet into my liking. It has enough milk. I don't like when there's not a lot of milk. I do like a lot. But when you sip it, you still taste that kick at the back of that bitter espresso. I love that. So if it kind of sounds like you have my palette where you like smooth but that bitter espresso in the back, you might like Diabolito. Diabolito. Diabolito? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. These are the samples that they give you. I believe that they give you 12, I think. So there's different ones that I started trying from here. But, I see, I don't think I got the vanilla custard. No, I didn't. But I, that's what they're called. Oh my god, I got confused. So, the sleeves fit in here perfectly. And you actually are supposed to open them up here. This one will literally come out like this. Like, these drawers are just so perfect. Like, how cute is that? They fit. So, the other thing I wanted to show you guys are these super cute sets that I got from Amazon. I originally saw Diana Saldana post this color and Amy actually ended up ordering it. There was actually a $5 coupon on the Amazon.ca side and I'll also put the link for Canadian and um, the US for you guys. I ordered a medium but then when I talked to Amy she's like a medium is I don't think it's gonna work because the medium was really small and we're pretty like similar in terms of size and weight. So I ended up getting a medium and large. So yesterday I got this guy and which is in a large and then I got this guy in a medium. I'll show you guys here how they fit on me. So this is how the set fits on me, you guys. It's really comfortable. The only thing with this set is that it's not super high rise. It's a little bit more of like a mid high, I definitely would say. So I would say if you're like a six, eight, I am basically a six on the top. I'm usually a four and I need a large. So I honestly don't know like someone who's like a size 10 even like an 8 I really think that you might think it's really fitted on you and they don't even have an extra large That's the only thing that sucks about these sets. Good morning, babes It is the next day and I realized I didn't get to show you yesterday this lounge set that I got from Airy that I told you guys So this is their cozy vibes um, set 
you do have to buy them separately and I also have my socks that always are the colors that I like usually wear anyways these socks I usually find at like home scent um, I've been looking on Amazon there's a few but it's really hard to find them in like nice colors to be honest just in case you guys want to shop this set I will have the links down below and it is like 40% off right now I did get this one in a small I kind of wish I got this in an X small unless you really like it super flowy like this like this is how big it is on me it's really big and the joggers are in a size small they do fit a little bit more on the oversized kind of feel I do still have room like by my waist plus this is tied up right now this is a close-up of the material hopefully you guys can see and the pants are the exact same it's like really kind of super cozy and fuzzy kind of feel I've almost been wearing it like every single night it's super comfortable just keep in mind it is oversized and um, if you do want to go a size down you definitely have room to do so yesterday was kind of an exhausting day um, I'm going through my PMDD this is I kind of get it like two weeks before but every month is kind of different but yesterday you guys Woo, you know how I already naturally have like anxiety when you go through PMDD your anxiety tends to like magnify by like four or five and you just like I just was trying to find the craziest things to like obsess about yesterday so I like cry about everything I cannot watch like emotional video I was like watching it like some of beauty bird beauty birds vlogs and I was like oh my god I can't be watching this vlog right now like I just cannot I'm so thankful and grateful and proud of myself that I'm able to still be in that mindset where I can be like, okay, Steph, like, let's try and calm yourself down right now. Like, I think that's amazing, especially, you know, where my head usually is at mentally when it comes to my PMDD. Dying because I was in the exact same thing as yesterday, but this thing is just so comfy, this set. I mean, yeah, I don't want to put like a damper on this video. I guess I just want to remind people that it's okay to be human and like right now, oh my god. I'm sure you guys have an idea, but I, I really feel for people who like their mental health is just getting like a lot worse during this time because it's, it's hard to deal with, you know, and if you have like different parts of your life that's already difficult to deal with, like that on top is not an easy thing. So if you're going through something, I just want to kind of, hopefully this helps you just know that like you are doing your best. You are trying your absolute best during this time. Personally, like being able to film for you guys and like show you things that are either new in my life or things that you love to see me share. I feel very blessed that I'm able to do that for you guys. You, if you don't have control over that thing that you're obsessing, like can you control what you're obsessing over? If the answer is no, you have to stop thinking about it and talking to yourself and saying like, Worrying about it is going to do absolutely nothing and I promise you it's not. Think about the times in your past where you have worried. You ask yourself how those things went in the end. They worked themselves out. Everything was fine. You survived. You got through it. And then you look back. Like There's so many circumstances and times and situations where I was like, wow, like you worried yourself so sick and you made yourself go crazy. And like looking back, don't you see that that thing was this small and you made it this big? I have to, in these moments, I have to like remind myself of those situations. You're in a mindset that's negative, right? So it's like, mm, 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 if you're not feeding any good to it. Um, but when you feed good, I notice that that negativity kind of like comes down. I'm not saying it's going to take away everything, but I just feel like it helps to talk to yourself. Try to make it super logical. I know with anxiety, there's not... Sometimes there's not a lot of logic, but you have to, I don't know, this is just what helps me. It's kind of like someone beside you going, okay, breathe, calm down. Like, you can do that for yourself. You really can. And honestly, the more that you do for yourself, like, you're only helping yourself and you're only saying to yourself, like, wow, like, I can do this. I tried a few coffees this morning and some of them were disgusting <laughs> this girl said it perfectly comment down below if you were the one who said this she said i have a love hate relationship with my nespresso machine because some of their coffees are disgusting and some of them are amazing and that makes complete sense and that's exactly how i would describe my experience with this machine the machine in general love it the coffees they're going to be a hit or miss that's why i bought a bunch of packs to be honest so I wanted to show you guys kind of the basics. So at the top over here, this light, if I do this, it'll just simply turn it on. Um, it's still warm. I just made like a cup a few minutes ago. 
um, but you have unlock and lock so then when you kind of go to this side and you push it a little bit more like this it'll just open my capsule is still inside of here and then when you want it to brew you just kind of close it up with one hand <laughs> just click the button at the top once it's solid and then you just your coffee will literally come out and if you press the button from my experience um, I haven't really read this in the book but if you press the button let's say you don't want like the full cup of what it comes with like the 230 mil you can press the button and it will stop this thing is removable but also adjustable to let's say you have a little tiny let's use this as my little mini espresso cup um, you can put it at the top there so that if it's at the bottom it doesn't splash all over the place the Columbia one I did actually like it. I feel like the Columbia is a really good comparison to the Starbucks iced coffee I really did like this so I could get a second use out of this capsule because I only used it once Plus this morning I've just been doing like a test run of different ones um, I also tried the Fortado and this one she said the girl that I was speaking to she said that this is what she loves having in the morning and it is 150 ml one so it's not like a full full cup um, I did like it but it wasn't anything that I would buy this was actually a sample so it wasn't like one of the sleeves that I bought this one I really hated it I don't know if like I just maybe was the milk I paired with it I think I used cashew sometimes the nutty milks can mix with the um, notes in the espressos and the coffees to be honest and make it taste really bad for example if I get coconut milk at Starbucks in an iced coffee I don't like the iced coffee but if I get oat or almond all of a sudden the coffee tastes amazing and then the one I just did right now the decaffeinato um, ontuoso I think you call it um, that one I really 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 like and it's really good if you love the Starbucks coffee So I have it. Uh, this one is the decaffeinato. I really love the flavor of it I do like the notes in this one too and it has been really fun testing out the different capsules I will say I feel like that's the best part of it plus you can get like a bunch of things So I wanted to show you guys I get a bunch of like skinny syrups at home sense They also sell them on like Amazon too and I've also ordered them from their actual website you can also get the Torani, I think the company is. I, I also have a little uh, froth over here, a handheld one. But I also have one that you plug in. But I think I want to get a new one because I feel like if I want hot milk, it's not the greatest for that. Good, but it's not like amazing. And then this is usually where I froth up the milk, this little container over here. Then this is where I have my vanilla syrup currently inside. And this is actually for my Kia. They're like 99 cents. And then you will want to get some toppers if you do want to create your fun Starbucks drinks. So I have pumpkin pie topping that I got from the grocery store. And I just ordered from Amazon cocoa powder. And I feel like it's going to go so nicely on top of the cold foam. And let me tell you something, I have not gone to Starbucks two days in a row. Every morning I will get up and I will go out and grab my Starbucks and I haven't yet. Um, I feel like Starbucks for me is going to get super exciting because it's kind of the thing that I'm not going to be picking up every single day anymore because now I have my machine and I have a bunch of coffees to try out and it saves you a ton, a ton of money. I can't remember if I talked about that but each capsule ranges from like 88 cents a Canadian to like about a dollar something a dollar 20 I think is like the most expensive one if you think about that two capsules for some people can give them a second cup but let's just say that's one cup like that's a, like some of the ones I bought are like 90 cents okay so 90 cents a latte and then you just buy your own milk and your own sweetener and you're constantly using that like that that's for multiple drinks uh, and in a future vlog you guys probably in like one of my next vlogs I'll show you guys my cold foam recipe kind of my favorite drink that I have made so far with the machine I wish I could show you in this video but I feel like it's gonna get way too long and if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching the whole video if you guys enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up hopefully you guys enjoyed my little mini review of the machine just showing you guys kind of how it works and what I like about it but I will be showing you guys more and drink recipes and all that to come thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video